What's up everybody, it's your boy Beam here. Uh, for breakfast I had, um, what I had for breakfast? I had leftover chicken pot pie, and I had a banana, and um, yeah, uh, I also had some coffee. Um, I wanted to, so because today was the first day of school, I wanted to definitely make sure I wasn't like under eating, because something I can do sometimes is if I'm ever in like a unique situation or like something that I am not really used to or when I don't have times in which I eat, it's pretty easy for me to just not eat, right? Uh, and that's bad, so um, I decided to eat a little extra today, generally, um, just so then I don't under eat because um, that's just something I incidentally do sometimes. Um, so yeah, this morning I took a pot pie and a banana um, and coffee uh, and then I took the bus to school. Today was the first day of school. Um, yeah, I, I, I took the I took the bus and then I took the train. Uh, both were pretty good. Um, you know, no complaints. Um, I showed up. Um, I showed up uh, around eight twenty. Classes started at nine. Uh, I first immediately sat down in basically sort of the recreation area, and I made sure I can connect to public Wi-Fi uh, because I had never actually connected to public Wi-Fi on a Linux machine before. Um, and on Windows and on like iOS, um, you just tap on Wi-Fi and it opens up in a website for you to log in, right? But, um, you know, uh, of course this is in a different situation because, you know, why would a Linux machine let, a, you know, network manager open up a web browser, you know? Uh, so the way I was able to do it was I was just able to, um, see what website it brought me to when I signed into the Wi-Fi on my phone and I just opened that up on my laptop and I was able to sign in and it was fine. And so because it was uh, stored on my laptop, I could immediately connect whenever I turned on my laptop. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, then after that, um, I got up and I looked for my class. Uh, I did, uh, my first class was English 101. Uh, I could have not had English 101 if I took the um, international baccalaureate test last year for English. But honestly, I don't mind. I like English. Not really complaining. I like English. It's it's fun. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, he wanted us, he talked about how in this class we aren't going to be interpreting text. We're just going to be reading text. And apparently that's very hard to do to read text without interpretation and just to be reading it completely objectively. But, um, you know, apparently we're going to be working on that. Um, that was pretty much it. He told me we have no homework because it's the first day. Um, but, you know, um, I keep itching my eye like a crazy person. Maybe I, this is the last time I'm touching my face. Um, yeah, so that, that went pretty well. Um, and then after that, it was half an hour until my next class, which was interpersonal communications for the workplace um and it's this business course that's required that, that's required for my um program uh and i have this like network and server administration program I'm do, that i'm doing um and the funny thing is is that well okay so i i got into this okay so the funny thing that happened was um i was looking around for the room that interpersonal communication was taking place in and um, it said that it was taking place in the building I was currently in which was in the recreation area uh, but it was upstairs so I looked upstairs and none of the numbers were matching up with the number that I had for the class so I was like none of these are the class number that's weird so I went back downstairs and I was and I was like hey uh, do you know where this classroom is and they're like oh yeah that should just be upstairs and I was like okay so I went back upstairs I looked back around still you know didn't appear you know still wasn't up there uh, so, you know, I sort of did this thing, I don't know if other people do this, where you just walk around looking confused, and, uh, you know, it was far away enough from the beginning of class to where I could afford doing this, um, and, you know, I was just looking around looking confused until somebody walked up to me and was like, hey, do you, do you know where to go? Um, actually, no, no, um, I was just looking around looking confused until I heard somebody else mention my class number, and I was like, oh, you have the same class as me, and she was this lady, she wasn't old, but she had, like, wrinkles. Um, and we're like, oh yeah, same class. I'm, I'm going to community college. Yeah. Um, we're like, oh yeah, same class. So, um, then, 
uh, we are brought to this other class, which was a typo. There, we, th these other people were like, oh yeah, we think that's a typo. Um, go to this class instead. And it was like right in the corner. It was like in the same building, in the upper level, it was just the number was wrong, right? So we went to this class, we asked the people, hey, this is uh, interpersonal communication super with the and we're like, hey, what class is this? They're like, a oh, business class. And uh, we're like, well, yeah, but what class? And we're, they're like, oh, interpersonal communications. It's like, we're like, oh, okay. Um, so we found out that was the class. Turns out the teacher hadn't known either. They had switched up the numbers without telling her. So she was a little late, um, but it was fine. We were just like six minutes late. It was meant to start at, I can't say when it started. It was meant to start at like, let's say 11, but it started at like 11.06. Um, it wasn't, it didn't start at 11, but that was just making up with an hour. Um, yeah, so that class, um, we basically split the class up into four different groups. Um, and those four different groups, the way it worked is you would talk to, um, you would introduce yourself. How did it work? Yeah, you would just, you would just introduce yourself pretty much. And then after that, other people would introduce you and you would add or change things if they got it wrong or not. Um, and then, uh, once everybody got acquainted with each other in their groups, the teacher would be like, hey everyone, uh, each group, um, she would go from group, group one, two, three, four, we were first because we were group one, and um, she was like, hey, uh, you, uh, go uh, introduce someone. And so I introduced someone else, and then they introduced someone else, and then they introduced someone else. And you know, it was just, you know, typical exercise. Uh, it, w it was generally pretty interesting. Um, someone in my group uh, previously went to went to prison, so that's pretty interesting. Um, you know, not that I care. I feel like some people would care about that. You know, I mean, community college exists for a reason. It's cool that people who previously went to incarceration are getting schooling. I think that's awesome. You know, but you know, um, yeah, and the class generally went well. Uh, funny thing is, for the first week, it's actually the class assigned with the most homework, and it's like a business class. I don't know if that's uh, similar to other business classes. I'm not taking a business course, so I, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna have to watch a couple TED Talks, participate in like a couple discussions, talk to other people. It's like sort of a talky talky class where you talk to other people, and that's basically my English class. But the English class, you know, you're talking about like Nietzsche. Nietzsche, Nietzsche. You can tell I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, or like, um, Foucault. Foucault. Now I sound like I know what I'm talking about. But you know, it's like interesting stuff. But uh, no, uh, business, is, it, interpersonal communication. Who, you know, who he is. You know, respectfully, who he is. I'm already pretty good with people, but um, at the beginning, she said, "I know most of you are in here for a required class." and you think you're good with people, but you know, after this class, you'll be like, oh my God, I'm so much better now. And that's honestly probably the case. I bet there wouldn't be a class for this and there wouldn't be an instructor for this if it wasn't like a thing that people needed to work on. So, you know, maybe I'll just be crazy goaded at customer service after this or like speaking to people in the workplace, um, which, you know, is important, super important if you're doing something in IT. Um, yeah, and then after that, um, Uh, yeah, then after that, um, I had a pretty big gap in my schedule. Um, oh yeah, then they showed us this like diversity and inclusion center area. Um, and it was like a tiny room. Uh, they showed us in there is a place where you could donate clothes. Um, and they're, they were also like, hey, there's free coffee in here if you want. So you can get free coffee whenever. And um, yeah, so free coffee, uh, they gave us donuts. It was cool. Um, you know, um, yeah, so then after that, um, and it really started raining at this point. It was fine because we were inside, but like it was so rainy toward the rain, like, <laughs> you know, like whipped against the building. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, the class ended at 1250. And, um, you know, then I had a gap in my schedule from 1250 to three uh, because my next class was my math class at three, which was actually mathematical applications for circuit analysis, which is my math class, but that was at three. Class was over at 12.50, so I had a pretty big, gap, pretty big gap in my schedule. I was like, well, I might as well get my student ID. So I went to the place, I looked around, I ended up in the administration building, which is the place with like the dean, 
I wasn't, that's not where the student ID thing was. I was just looking around and acting confused. Uh, one of my counselors ended up showing up, like one of the counselors for my scholarship program. And um, he was like, Harry, you lost? And I was like, yeah, I'm looking for the place to get your student ID. And he was like, oh yeah, it's here. And I was like, you're this person, right? And he was like, um, yeah, how do you know that? And I was like, oh, well, you know, you're one of the counselors for this program. And he's like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know if that made sense. But yeah, then, um, I need to, hold on. Sorry, I need to moisturize my hands. Um, yeah, so I got to the place with the student ID and um, I uh, showed up. Um, I, the, the guy basically told me um, to be like, hey, uh, to show up to the cashier, get a, a pay for the ID, get a receipt, and then show up to the ID place, which was just right there, like right next to it. Uh, and then ask them for the ID and show them the receipt. And I was like, okay. So I walked over to the cashier. I was like, hey, I'm here to pay for my ID. And she's like, sure. She said, oh, you haven't paid. Uh, you're part of financial aid. And I was like, no, I'm part of this scholarship program. She's like, oh, okay. Um, uh, so you still need to pay the fees. And I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, well, with the fees, your ID plus fees will be $130. And I was like, mm, okay. Okay. You know, so um, I paid that. And, um, you know, I also got my student ID. I would show you guys, but it shows my student ID number on it. I don't, and my college, and I don't want to show that. Um, but yeah, then, um, God. Um, yeah, then once I did that, um, it was actually kind of funny. When I was paying, uh, the, uh, I wanted to see if I can pay with my credit card to get cash back. Um, but I looked at my balance and if I had paid for it, I would have gone over 30% utilization on my card. I don't want to go over 30% utilization. So um, I decided to just pay for it with my debit card. So I put my debit card away and I paid with my watch on Apple Pay. As soon as I did, she said, oh, we signed a contract. You're not allowed to do that. And I was like, what? Sorry. She's like, it's fine. You can just pay with your card. So I got out my card. She said, I thought I saw your card in your hand. You know, that's why I didn't say anything. And I did have my card in my hand. I just put my card away so I could pay with my watch so it would show up on my app <laughs> like a crazy person. So I uh, got my card and I put my card in. I paid with my card and it showed my pin. I typed in my pin and uh, it was like, wrong, wrong pin. I was like, what? Wrong pin. And I remembered, oh, I'm actually looking at it right now. I got mail a while ago for my new pin for my new card and I don't have it memorized yet. She was like, oh, so yeah, just press the green button. It should be fine. And it turns out, you can do debit cards without pins. Like you can do things without your pin. Uh, it just doesn't, it's easier to mark as fraudulent because a fraudster wouldn't know your pin. But yeah, I ended up paying for that. Uh, as the receipt was printing out, uh, she actually ran out of receipt paper. So um, she had to put new roll of receipt paper in and then have the rest print out and then she tapes it together. It's fine. Uh, and then I showed up to the place with your ID and I was like, hey, I'm here for my ID, here's my receipt. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, just sit here. So um, I sat down, uh, she asked me to sign my name in the little digital signature thing for the ID. Um, so I did that. She said, I, I ended up making my signature really tiny because I didn't want it to like be cut off on the tops and bottoms, like on my state ID. Um, so, so I made it really tiny because I thought it would like crop into the tiny signature, but it just made it tiny on my, on my ID, which is fine. Um, but yeah, uh, she's like, okay, so yeah, look at the photo for a camera. I said, okay, let me take my hoodie off because in like 11th grade or 10th grade, I took a photo, a school photo with my hoodie on. My parents got that. So I took my hoodie off and, you know, I look at the camera, I smile like, you know, like that. And uh, she's like, is this good? And you know, I just got a bad vibe from it. So I said one more time and I went out like that. And um, you know, then second ID photo was good. So she started printing it out. Uh, the printer jammed. So she had to turn it off and turn it back on and ended up being fine. She had to call someone over, big process. Um, but yeah, once um, that was figured out, she gave me my card and it was good. Um, so. Then um, I was like, well, I still have like an hour, like an hour and a half, you know, so, um, or like an hour and 45 or like two hours. So I went to um, basically the, like the recreation center pretty much. 
Um, and I was like, well, my mom told me to eat, so I should probably eat. So I went to the little market they have. Um, I'm never buying food from this place again. I'll just bring food from home. Uh, but they had like snacks on the wall, like a, like it was like convenience store snacks. And they had like a couple convenience store fridges with drinks inside of them. And, um, one of those like refrigerated sandwich shelves that you see in grocery stores, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I grabbed a sandwich from there. I was like, well, there's only 450 calories. So I grabbed a second sandwich as well. And, um, you know, uh, I got in the line um, and the line was only me. I just got in front of the payer thing and uh, I was trying to figure it out and there's a police, there's a security guard behind me. I was like, well, I don't know how to do this. Um, you know, you could just do this and, and show me, right? Um, well, I, I was like, hey, you don't know, I don't know how to do this. You could just come line because I'll, I'll waste your time. He was like, okay. So he ended up showing me how to do it. Um, and he was like, yeah, so, so you just, so you just scan the barcode and, um, and then you pay. I was like, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, so I scanned, I tried to scan the barcode on the first one, um, but the lady there was very nice. Uh, the code didn't end up scanning. So she was like, oh yeah, sometimes you just have to type it in manually. So she did that very nicely. And, um, you know, yeah, what? Um, she typed it in manually. And then I scanned my other chicken sandwich. Um, funny thing is, this is the lady who helped me with it, um, who helped me type in the number for my code. Uh, she was actually the same one who helped me, helped redirect me to like all my classes. I didn't really know where any of my classes were. Uh, and when I showed her the class number, uh, she was able to be like, oh yeah, you go here. And then because it says three, it's on the third floor. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And then like four times. By the end of the day, like at lunch, she asked me if I had any more classes. Like, yeah, I have a math class. She was really nice. Um, one second. Uh, yeah, so she was very nice. I just had a tone with parents to be a little quieter. They were right next to my room. Um, yeah, so by the end of, uh, right after that, she asked me if I had any classes left. And I was like, oh yeah, I have um, math left. And she's like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, then after that, um, I paid for my food. She was like, there's ketchup and mustard and salt and stuff over there for your sandwich. And I was like, okay. Um, so I got ketchup. I got like a handful of ketchup packets and a handful of mustard packets. Not a handful, but like three or four. Um, I also got some salt. Um, and uh, then I went at the table to go and sit down. Uh, I tried, I tried my best. I tried my best to open up this sandwich packet, but I just couldn't. So I had to open up a a little device I had with me to, to open up this um, sandwich bag. Um, and, uh, you know, it was irritating, but it was fine. Uh, so I opened it up, I took a bite of it, it was very dry, so I put mustard in it, and then it was fine. Uh, the second sandwich, uh, it was like a weird spice, it was like a spicy chicken sandwich, but instead of buns, they were like waffles. It was like sweet waffles. It was, it was fine, like it was a good sandwich. Not really, it was a fine sandwich, but it was just strange, um, but I ended up putting ketchup and salt on it. Um, but yeah, yeah, neither of it was good. It was like ten dollars, so I, I'll just bring food from home. But um, yeah, then after that, I um, did this survey for this program. Uh, my English, no, no, my business, my business class and my um, math class are both part of this program. Where instead of having one instructor, there are two instructors or professors, um, and the two professors, like, it, it makes it easier to find, like, learn about what's happening in class. Like, it's, it's less of a barrier for entry. Uh, so I had to take a survey for that program, and, you know, the more I answered the fact that I needed this second professor, the more funding they got, so, you know. Um, and I also, what, um, for my interpersonal communications class, I also did this a uh, little survey where it asks you questions about like how patient you are when you're speaking to other people. And I got a patient score of 82 out of 100. So I think that's, I think that's pretty good. Um, and the assignment is to basically send a screenshot, uh, to take a screenshot of it and then put it into a Word document and send it to her. So I did that. Um, of course, those aren't my only two assignments. I have quite a few assignments in this interpersonal communications class. And tomorrow I'm planning on like going to the library or something and working on these. Uh, and we'll see how good I am at that. I, I, I think I'll finish them all tomorrow. Um, 
Yes, I worked on that uh, while I ate. I watched this TED talk that was assigned during interpersonal communication. And, um, yeah. Uh, you know, then I finished eating. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, sorry, I finished eating and worked on that stuff. And, um, yeah, then it was time for my math class. I was kind of spooked because this math class is from... What? This math class is from 3 to 5.20 p.m., which is kind of crazy. Um, but, um, I was spooked when I was showing up, but it was in the health, health building. Um, so I showed up. It was a class right there, and I was 15 minutes early. The teacher wasn't even there yet, so I was like, oh. So I just walked around in circles around the campus for a little bit to get some exercise. Um, then once I had done that, you know, I went in. Uh, I went to the classroom, and it was mostly old people. <laughs> Not really. I mean, it was like people who were older than me. Um, some of them had wrinkles. Some of them even had gray hair. Um, and it was a little crazy, but there are some people my age. Um, you know, not to be ageist or anything, but it's interesting to see people older than you in a school setting when previously you've exclusively interacted with people older than you in like a, like a, like a superior setting, you know? Um, but yeah, the teacher, yeah, the instructor ended up being super, uh, super nice and yeah, um, if we do everything okay, the math's gonna be pretty easy. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. I felt pretty confident my first day of senior year of high school too, um, but international baccalaureate biology uh, just just killed me. And it was first year biology, you know? So we'll see how confident I am in the future. But for now, I'm feeling pretty okay. Um, but yeah. That class itself was pretty easy. Well, the first day was pretty easy. Um, and then I just, took the train home, and then I took the bus home, and then my dad picked me up from the local strip mall, and it was good. And man, 22 minute video, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I have nothing else to really talk about. That's pretty much it. I gotta brush my teeth, and wash my face, and go to bed, um, and wake up early-ish tomorrow. And yeah, all right, see you. Is that it? Oh, when I got home, I had like stew. I had leftover stew. Uh, See you.